When I first started photography, I just shot away, documenting what I saw. But somehow I failed to convey the amazing experience of what I'd seen. This made me obsessive about improving my work. I'm completely self-taught. I always feel that using someone else's rules is taking someone else's photo. Everything I shoot is camera in hand. The ethos behind my photography is being wild and free. Everything you see, I was right there. For me, it's crucial to understand my subject, and I've spent years in the field studying animal body language. I want my photography to have a certain emotional connection. I want to capture everything that I felt in that moment in pixels. The heart of my photography has to be for wildlife. It's only if you really love it, really breathe it, that you'll make it happen. So I was out in Kenya, Amboseli, to uh, photograph elephants, and I just got engaged to my fiance Charlotte, and I was really riding on this huge high. Shortly after that, we heard that Tim, this iconic tusk elephant, passed away. And in many ways, it was a huge coup for conservation that he died of natural causes. He very easily could have been poached for his ivory. But I was still devastated to hear the news. We didn't really know what was going to be in store for us, but we did what we always do, and we went out and we just did our best. We positioned ourselves in front of Kilimanjaro, knowing that the elephants would come down off the cool plains to water. We spotted this herd, and there was already something a little bit electric about this herd. There was something different. As they drew closer, it was clear that there was a very big male. And what was even more exciting is that this male had huge tusks. At that time in the morning in Kenya, the air is really cold and it's absolutely silent. And you can hear every single footstep this giant elephant's taking. And he makes these rumbles, communicating with the herd, but you can feel them, they're deep in bass and they're right in your chest. When he eats in front of you, you know he's calm. They will only do that when they're calm. That is a really good sign. It allowed me to get down and low, which is the angle that I'm looking for. It really accentuates his size, and especially these giant tusks that he has. Rarely do you get wildlife who do exactly what you want, but this felt like a special moment. And with such a handful of these animals left, 24 tuskers left in the world, to have this, this resonating and deep and personal experience with this elephant, it's been a career highlight for me. And to be able to share that with audiences is a real privilege.